What's up, guys? It's Jordan from Fighting for My Voice, My Life with Verbal Apraxia. And if you don't know me from my blog, I make videos all about my life with Verbal Apraxia. I hope everyone's having a great day. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about speech strategies that have really helped me, not only as a child, but also in my adult life as well. I feel like this video was a very great idea because we can be so focused on the present right now when these kids are just kids but we don't know what the adult life or adulthood will bring them so i just really wanted to share things that have helped me as a young adult with verbal apraxia and i will say this as many times as i have to I do not claim to be a speech language pathologist. I have never claimed that and I would never claim it because frankly, I don't wanna be one. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're not, so subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you're on there now. Click that little subscribe button down below and let's get in today's video so i'm going to be going over like three different things that have really helped me and my very first one is called easy on set and if you don't know what easy on set is it is very frequently used in um, people who have a praxia and it is basically basically where you breathe out your words and you take your words more slowly. So like right now, as I was talking about it, I was more conscious to actually use it because it is something that honestly helps me. And it also helps me if I slow my words down. I could try to talk really fast. Frankly, it wouldn't sound that well. My second one is hand gestures. And you saw me probably throughout this whole entire video doing some kind of hand movements or something. And it is because hand gestures really do help me. If I can move my hands in any sort of way, it does help. Um, and this is because of the, I believe it's the cerebellum in the back of our brains. It is when people with a apraxia move their hands, it actually increases speech. So hand gestures are something that, that help me. Um, some people aren't a fan, a fan of hand gestures because they can say that they can be awfully distracting for the other person. But with me, um, I'm going to do anything that helps me and makes my life a little bit more easier. And I don't feel like that's a bad thing. So I use hand gestures in my life. I have also tapped my foot. I have also tapped my fingers as well, um, which do help. And then I'll also apply pressure to the palm of my hand on a flat surface and I'll press down. And that also helps me as well just to get words completely out and to just flow better. Okay, so my third thing is, is reading and then talking out loud as you read. So it's if a person with a praxia, let's say that they have to give a presentation or something, or they just need some extra help if you actually read from a piece of paper, um, if you read it and talk out loud from it, so you're reading and speaking out loud at the same time, it will it will honestly help you so much because honestly, you are using both sides of your brain while you are doing this. So you are using one side of your brain for talking and for speech. And then the second side is for reading. So when you do both of these things at the same time, you're using both parts of your brain, which does help you enhance your speech and your talking. And this is something that I've noticed that if I read off of something, I can speak very well. And it's honestly something that's kind of freaky. <laughs> it's just weird that like I can like read something off a piece of paper and then I can have very little difficulties 
But if you were to just have me say it out loud, random, I'm going to have more. But it is because you're using both sides of your brain. And this is also, also something that I learned from my speech language pathologist as well. And has been something that has helped me in presentations or just in like difficult times. And I do know that some people could maybe say, oh, well, you shouldn't do that. Maybe you're taking the easy way out, but sometimes people honestly just need help. And I don't feel like there's any um, anything wrong with it. I think if you can do things that help you and you struggle with talking in your everyday life, um, you should do it. So yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, just leave them down below. I was really chill in this video. I'm not really like, hi guys, it's Jordan, blah, 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 because I just really just wanted to sit down and just have like a real conversation with you guys, because these are things that, that can help you if you are a person with praxia or if you have a child with a praxia, of course they can can help them, or if you are also a speech language pathologist. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, I will talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.